For the first time since the United Auto Workers strike started, we're hearing from a local manager who represents GM. Yeah, he is warning that our area could be negatively impacted if its workers go on strike. Hannah is live this morning in Arlington with the details. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Brandon and Lauren. So this GM plant here in Arlington employs about 5,000 union members. It produces all of the company's full-size SUVs. So you can imagine the hit, not only the company, but the area would take if it's added to the strike. Now the UAW has not added this Arlington plant to, plant to its strike. But like I said, if they added a third expansion, that could be the case. A new report says the strike has cost the U.S. economy four Four billion dollars so far, counting for the impact on automakers, dealers, suppliers, and consumers. The GM Arlington plant's executive director says the UAW's initial demand was a 40% pay increase over the next four years, along with other benefits. He believes the offer from GM to the union is more reasonable and meets the needs of workers directly addresses the items that our employees have told us are most significant to them. So base, w base wage increase up to 20%, job security, inflation uh, protection, and um, the continuation of world-class health care. UAW leadership held new bargaining sessions with GM and Stellantis yesterday. The strike started September 15th that expanded last week to out of plants, uh, one in Chicago and another one in Michigan. That brings the total number of workers on strike to 25,000, which amounts to roughly 17% of the UAW union. Reporting live in Arlington, I'm Hannah Ptah for Good Day.